Moving on to BISF, now the BISF houses, these were built after the Second World War, starting from about 1947, and we've got them in, in various parts of the city. The original uh, construction is a render onto the steel frame, sheeting on the top, and then asbestos roof covering. In recent years, and when I say recent years, the BISF, it must be at least 20 years when we started to do those, we started to replace the asbestos roof covering and also replace the sheeting at the top and the bottom. On the bottom we put a very stiff board on there, which it's not asbestos, it, it, it's a gravel textured board called stenai, and we put insulation between the steel frame and the board, and then up above there we put these colour rock tiles. So what, that's a different type of colour rock tile, but it's still a colour rock tile. The Dolongo House. My records show that the first prefabricated houses that Newcastle built uh, were down at St Oswald Avenue at Walker and these were the Dorman Long Company houses. There's only two of them and these were steel frame properties with a, a, a pitched roof. From the technical information that I've got, originally the property had a concrete roof on, still due a pitch like it is there but it was actually concrete and then the tiles put on top of that or the slates. This house is put together, I'll just, there's the bit of steel frame down on the concrete slab steel frame came up. On the inner leaf of block work you had there, and then the outer leaf you had a metal lathing with render. This here shows the steel frame carried right up the first floor and then up to the roof. The original external wall was constructed with an inner leaf of breeze concrete block. The, the trusses are every four feet, and that's a steel truss as opposed to a timber truss. So it's a steel house, steel trusses. The unusual feature about the, this, as we see it now, is you've got what they call timber sorting. Now that probably might have been concrete at one stage in the past, but whoever's re-roofed it put these rafters on, spanning in a horizontal direction between the various purlins at, uh, trusses at every four feet. These are the Dennis Wilde type of houses, Mr. Dennis and Mr. Wilde. And this sketch is just to demonstrate um, the, the, the skeleton of the house. They would build the steel frame up before they start and put the rest of the construction together. The only thing that identifies this to a surveyor as being steel framed is if you go inside the front door, you can see a steel beam going from the front of the back to the back of the house where that column is there. But to most people, they would look at it and say, that's just a normal house, there's nothing unusual about that. I've put these photographs in just to show you the level of corrosion that you get around ground level, damp-proof course level. That's the kind of corrosion that you get. That's the, that's the structure. That's the, the skeleton, as it were, of the houses, and that's the kind of corrosion that you've got. This shows you the reinforcement that I've put on either side, stools, to stiffen it up. And, of course, what we do nowadays, we clean the steelwork back and put a protective paint on it and also wrap it with insulation, which is a styrofoam insulation. And these are called the Howard Steel Framed Houses, built in 1946-47. And originally, that's what they looked like. They had asbestos on the roof, um, asbestos panels around the perimeter, and then concrete panels around the base. This was all prefabricated. It was a steel framed. The cost of urban put a brick skin around the outside and make them very much more attractive. So when the city council took them over, they already had this brick skin. We did discover a wall tie problem, and we had the wall ties, uh, additional wall ties put in at the time that we did some refurbishment work there. Probably the last of the, of the steel-framed houses that Newcastle ever built. This is up at Betts Avenue. That's the Tyndale House at Wickham View, a multi-storey block. Stanley Miller built these properties. There's only two terraces at Betts Avenue, and they're steel framed houses, and they're built on a concrete raft. This was in a mining area, I've got the ground investigation for this, where we did some grouting works on the mine workings that was underneath for Tyndale House, and also for this. And having grouted up the mine workings, they then built the houses on a concrete raft slab, like that.